Hi everyone, it's time again to connect with God with our morning devotional and Pastor Olinto speaking from the city of Macau, southeast of China. Do you know, it is God who opens the heart. Yes, we can speak a lot, we can share a lot, but in the end, it is God who opens the heart. Um, it is a free will for the person to decide to accept the Lord Jesus Christ into their lives, but God is the one who opened their hearts, and that's why we need to pray for those who receive the message so that the right time comes and, and God can, can bless that person in that way. Come with me in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 16, verse 14. It says this, Now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Theatira who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. So the Lord worked in a way that she could keep Paul's message in her heart. Friends, as you have a relative, as you have colleagues, neighbors, you name it, remember this as you share the gospel. Or if you don't have an opportunity to share the gospel with them, just pray that God will give them an opportunity so that they can listen, so they can be, uh, um, you know, surprised by the power of God in some ways, and so that God can open their hearts and they can truly understand the message of salvation. That is our duty, that's our responsibility, to pray for those that we know, to pray for those who need to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a challenge for you this week. Pray for your relatives, pray for your friends, pray for your neighbors or you name it, as I said. Maybe you don't have the opportunity, but maybe somebody else do. And so God can open their hearts and they can keep what the Lord has spoken to them. Lydia was a good example, very good example. She worshiped the Lord. She knew the powerful love of God but God opened her heart so she couldn't understand even more. I need to close, but I'm so happy to have you once again with me. I hope I can see you next time. God bless you. Pastor Linto speaking from the city of Macau, southeast of China.